Hey everyone, it's uh, 11.30 and I'm waiting for the bus to go to the park. This is my luggage, that's my luggage, and this is my hand carry. Here at the bus already. The bus is scheduled to leave at exactly 12 noon, and uh, we're gonna be. We have to be at uh, Park Pampanga at the airport by 2 p.m., and the flight is at 4. I had hardly any sleep. I went to a party last night, uh, my friend's birthday party, but it's okay. I went. I went back home really early but I didn't have enough sleep but that's okay I'm really excited for this trip and uh, yeah as you can see they're uh, they're waiting for the bus to fill I think they have the schedules in the website of the Phil Franco website so yeah so far it's been a it's been an easy trip I'm traveling alone but I'm meeting a friend over there at my hotel so uh, I'll probably see you guys when I get to the airport in Pampanga, right? I'm already here at the lobby, the pre-departure lobby. Uh, the plane is about to leave at exactly 4 o'clock. So, so far we're right on schedule. Uh, I just finished the whole process here at the airport, paying the travel taxes and uh, going through immigration and uh, yeah, checking in my luggage, which took about an hour and a half. Yeah, maybe an hour and a half. So now I'm here, uh, just standing by right here at the pre-departure lobby. Stupid me, I forgot my extra camera batteries at home. I have two extra batteries, so I'm running on my last battery and uh, my battery is about to die. Luckily, there's a socket right here at the lobby. I don't know if you can charge though, but uh, let me show you. Right there, see that? All right, so hopefully I can uh, charge my this camera right there. Here we go, guys. Not boarding the plane. Funny, I ran into some college friends. So apparently some of them didn't show up for the flight, so I'm sitting with them. This is gonna be exciting. We're on the same flight. Hey everyone, I'm here at the plane right now and uh, we're just waiting for the plane to take off. Funny, I ran into some college friends. I'm actually sitting with them right now. That's Patricia and this is his longtime bro, John. Good friend. And this is Chris and his wife. They're so funny. Oh, there they are. Hi. <laughs> 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 
So the plane is about to take off in a few minutes. So uh, our estimated time of arrival in KK is 5.55 in the afternoon. So the PA system is uh, on right now telling us the safety precautions. So I'll be back upon our arrival in KK, alright? See ya! We're here! We're here and my ears haven't popped yet from the pressure. Yeah, <laughs> my ears are hurting. Okay, this ear just popped. I just felt it. I went back to Spain. I'm just waiting for my luggage. I'm right here at Kota Kinabalu. I'm right here in my hotel room. Uh, the hotel is called Manja Hotel. It's located right here at the KK Times Square in Kota Kinabalu. And uh, my friend actually helped me find this place. And uh, he's actually checked in here. And I just, uh, I'm, I'm milking with him. All right, so in a bit, I will be taking you around KK Times Square and show you the nightlife right here at KK Times Square in Malaysia and we are going to party with of course my friend's band they're, they're, his band is called Verse 2 and they perform at this bar this new bar called CF or Chocolate Factory so uh, in a bit I'm going to take you there at Chocolate Factory I just have to take a quick nap I haven't had enough sleep yet I haven't had any sleep yet and uh, I haven't even unpacked yet that's my luggage right there all well, the rest of the stuff is my friends. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. First of all, I thought that was rain because my friend told me that it rains a lot here. Here, what you can see here, this is KK Times Square. I can actually compare this to Greenbelt or Fort Bonifacio High or the Fort, Surendra, yeah, places like that. Oh, right there, look at that. It, that, that's a convenience store. It's called Orange. And look at the sign. It says Boca 24 Jam. Okay, so with 24, we pretty know, we pretty much know what that means. 24 hours and Boca is open, right? Boca. 24 hours Boca. 24 hour Boca Jam. All right, that's pretty cool. Now we're making our way to Chocolate Factory. That's where my friend's band plays. Welcome to day two of my stay here in 
Kota Kinabalu. We are gonna have lunch here at this place. I'm with my uh, two friends, that's Mike and that's Christine. There, they're uh, <clears throat> gladly showing me around this place. Christine, what's this place called? This whole area? All right, our food is here. I'm having the... Christine, what, what do you call this again? Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Wow, that looks good. And what's that? Prune noodles. What? Prune noodles. Wow. That's a lot. You can finish that? Yeah. No, I cannot finish. Old Town Prawn noodles. Wow. And Mike has, what's that? Hainanese chicken. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The tiny new chicken. All right. And of course, we all have our uh, coffee drinks right here. Okay, we're gonna have a snack at McDonald's and you have to check out the McDonald's here. It looks like a restaurant. Check it out. It's a nice restaurant. It's a huge ranch. And they also have, I'm writing time, they also have a Chinese New Year's special. It's called the Double Prosperity Burger. See? It's a Double Prosperity Burger. And Kim and Mikey tells me that I have to try it out. So. I'm glad that they still have it. I'm about to try the prosperity burger. There it is, see? It's double patty beef and it's a uh, sprinkled with a lot of pepper. I can actually smell the pepper. What are you going to do? Salon. Salon, because? I'm going to have my hair form. What kind of it? What kind of pepper? About, oh, I think 150 or 200 ringgit. How about shopping in the cheap here? Um, not so. Not so. Yeah. so Manila pa rin. Yeah. Especially when I, even I, I, I go shop in YRYS, yung mga, yung mga, mga skirts, I can buy, pag, if they're on sale, I can buy at least ma 150 lang. Pero here, di ba, ship na yung nakita natin, 39 ringgit, so 500 din sa pera natin. Yun. So normally, mga tao dito, staking yung mga local dito from KK, they go Singapore or Taiwan to shop. Hong Kong, ganyan. Kasi dito talaga wala kami dito. Kim, what are you doing? Ash gray. Ash gray? Gray. Ash gray. His colorist today is Filipinas. He's from uh, Zamboanga. Ate Bell. Ayan. Hi. Hi, Ate. Ayan. Taga Zamboanga. Siya nakakatawa naman. This is Melody. Hi. Hi. She's shy because she doesn't have any makeup. But she's really pretty. Uh, we're so uh, fortunate dahil may namit tayo na Filipina here at uh, Brick Salon and we're gonna ask her a few questions about 
Kota ka ni Blue Her name is uh, Ate Belle Ayan Ate Belle Hello Ilang years ka na dito sa Ilang years ka na dito sa KK? Um, KK actually I was here since 16 years old But not in KK We are staying in Kaningao Two hours drive From KK to Kaningao okay. Tapos taka sa bangka ka dito? Opo, taka sa buangga okay. Yung mom ko taka sa buangga The way you speak Para ka nang taga dito no? Kasi nag-skwela din ako dito So, dito ka na lumaki? Uh, parang gano'n na rin. Nagdalaga. <laughs> so, kamusta naman ang life mo dito sa KK? Um, my life is so struggling. Pag, especially pag mag-isa or, you know, become emotional. Kung, especially kung you're tired. Tapos you're away from your family. Nandito yung family ko. So, pag umuwi yung whole family, gano'n. Kung may budget, hindi uwi ng Pinas. Naka-uwi ako ng Pinas noong 2000, 2008 twice. Dahil nga sa visa ko. Tapos 2009, once. Ano yung pinakagusto mo dito sa KK? Dito, yung food. Kahit mahirap ka o mayaman ka, you can taste, you can try. Lahat ng pagkain. Everything is equal. Kamusta naman ang mga tao dito sa KK? Um, actually, they're friendly. Eh, friendly din, okay din. So, sa 16 years mo dito sa, sa KK, ano yung mga naging jobs mo dito? Actually, this is my first time naging hairdresser. Uh, I'm just a junior stylist na yun. Kasi kagagraduate lang namin. Hindi ko pa nga na ko yung diploma ko. Naka-work na ako. <laughs> so, kung may mga friends ka na mag-visit dito, anong saan mo sila dadalhin? Dito, madami. Uh, I bring them in Ranao, Mount Kinabalu. Restaurants yung may mga seafood, uh, gano'n. Okay, so uh, Ate Belle, invite mo sila pumunta dito sa KK? Um, uh, to all friends out there, uh, any anyone you know, interested to come uh, to Kota Kinabalu, uh, it's a nice place. Ang sabi nga nila, it's the land below the wind. Maganda, daming mga Pinoy din dito, daming mga nice spots din. Tsaka visit yung Mount Kinabalu, malamig kasi, parang mini Baguio din. Uh, baka meron akong gusto i-greet mga friends mo sa Manila at kasi lalagyan natin sa YouTube at sa Facebook. Baka umikot eh, di ba? Sige, greet mo sila. Yung may, kasi, may pinsan tsaka yung auntie ko yung nagalaga sa amin noon yung during sa Pinas Days. Na ngayon, I think um, hindi na kami nakita more than 20 years. Hello kina Ate Lidi, Ate Boots, yung mga anak ni Ate Lidi nasa mayroon nasa Bahrain, may nasa Dubai. Hindi uh, di, di na kami nakita. Sana magkita-kita kami ulit pag pumunta ng Manila. Maraming salamat Ate Bear. Thank you din. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> We're about to have our late lunch, and I'm having noodles. Melody, what's this called? Uh, Kon Lao Men. Kon Lao Men, okay. And then you have to eat it yeah. at the same time. Oh, okay. Specialty here? What's that? What's that? Lychee Kang. Lychee Kang. Okay. Dessert? Uh, yeah. Okay. And Mikey is having? Nasi ayam. What? Nasi ayam. Nasi ayam. Nasi ayam. Okay. Chicken rice. Chicken rice. Favorite mo? Yeah. Okay. And we're having hot? Milo. Hot Milo. Alright. They call it Milo here. try something really really different it's called stars archery all right so we're about to uh, do some arching the gloves are smelly 
because it's leather, the gloves are kind of... Uh -huh. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to control the arrow. You know that the, the bow is heavy. All right. The way you the way you load the arrow. You see how there are three colors? One, two, three. So three colors should be on the right side, one color on the left. So there. Right? Okay. And then this arm should be really stretched. And you pull it close to your eye, right below the lock. See? Nice. So now we're here because uh, Mikey and I craved for seafood. And I heard that uh, seafood is really cheap and really, really, really good and fresh here at uh, KK. So now we're trying the seafood. What's the name of this place, Christine? Ocean Seafood. Ocean Seafood. So this is, I'm uh, on my last few hours in uh, KK. I'm leaving tomorrow. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow at 1.40 uh, p.m. I'm sad to go. I'm sad to go because I don't think five days is enough for a vacation, for any vacation. So. Hi everyone, it's my last day in a... Uh, <laughs> no, it's my last hour. It's been a great uh, stay here in uh, KK, especially the nice people. Of course, I'm with, of course, I'm with Mikey and with uh, our good friend Christine. She's taking me to the airport. She was also the one who uh, fetched me from the airport to help Mikey fetch me from the airport. So you can, see, as you can see, uh, people here are really nice. I'm sad to go. I'm leaving in like maybe an hour and a half or two two hours my flight leaves at 1 40 p.m. I'd like to say thank you to everyone here in KK for uh, making my stay really really fun thank you to first two of course thank you to Mikey to Kim to Santi to Nancy and of course to the wonderful locals of uh, KK thank you to Christine Christine's right here Hi Christine, thank you. Uh, thank you to uh, Melody. Uh, too bad I didn't see her anymore. Yeah, thank you to everyone for uh, making my five days really, really fun. And uh, thank you for taking me around. Alright, so I'll see you soon, Malaysia, right? I'll see you again soon. Bye.